Hey everyone, I got a new tip out there for you that uh, has to deal with Cinema 4D and this one specifically has to do with how to create a hole in the ground or something that resembles a hole in the ground. You might want to have an, or you might have a need for this in some future uh, production you're putting together. So let's get started. It's pretty straightforward and we're, first we're going to use Adobe Photoshop to create the path that we're going to use to create the hole in within Cinema 4D. So let's open up Photoshop and we're going to create a new doc document. So go File, New. Okay. I'm going to leave mine at 1000 by 1000 pixels, just something nice and square and relatively large. So we'll start with your selection tool. Take it and we're going to draw a, a shape that's raggedy and craggedy and just has the look of a hole in the ground where something maybe has broken into it and penetrated the ground. So, or something's been dug or some sort of trauma has occurred to the ground. So, let's just take this real quick and make something that looks really jaggedy and raggedy and craggly. A bunch of different deformations in it. And try to give attention to the outside because that's how the hole is going to appear as well as the little pieces that you might have on the inside. So, we got a variety of shapes coming in and, and out there. So. Alright, so we've got the shape of a hole, and what we need to do now is convert that to a path. So, if you don't have your path palette available over here in your tools, go up top under Windows, and then down here you'll see where it says Paths. So, you'll need to enable Paths to convert this selection into a path. So, once you've done that, come over here on the far right, you'll see you've got layers and channels and whatnot. Your layout may be a little bit different, but uh, anyway, to the right here you've got a little drop down, and what we want to do is select make work path and leave all the defaults alright so now we're done we've created us a path and at this point we need to export it so go up top to file export paths to illustrator alright leave the defaults again and here we're going to save it to our desktop let's just call that hole alright and click save alright now we can minimize Photoshop and let's step into Cinema 4D and we're going to start out here by um, merging a file into a file that we've already got. So let's go to File, Merge, all right, and we're on our desktop and we see the whole file that we've created. Click Open, leave this at the default. All right, so there it is. And you'll see that it's been created, but it needs to be rotated 90 degrees. So what I like to do is, while it's selected, take my rotation tool and begin to rotate it. And as I see these numbers change down here, I can tell which direction or which order the coordinates that I need to adjust. So what I'll do is I'll get it started. And then I'll just go down here and enter a 90 and hit enter. That way it's a nice clean rotation. Okay, so now we need a piece of terrain and we'll use a cube for that. And we're going to make this cube nice and big, nice and wide. And let's make it pretty thick. We'll have a nice deep hole. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's take our hole. And we're going to bring that guy up to the top. We're going to see it. All right, so there's our whole path that's sitting above our cube that's going to represent our terrain. And what we need to do now is we need to go in and create a, an extrude nerve. All right extrude nerve you're going to need that and what we'll do is we'll take this hole that we've created and we're going to drag it on top of where we got our down arrow so drag the hole path right on top of the extrude nerve to where you have a down arrow and drop it okay now you'll see what it's done is it's connected all that and it's begin the extrusion portion of this so what do we need to do we need to select our extrude nerves all right we need to go down to our object and we need to tell it on the movement the center area right here that's going to extrude that out to the depth that we'd like it to be okay I'm going to change that to a zero and here I'm going to stretch it out nice and tall let me back out where we can see that you see how that's extruding to a nice beefy hole so let's go ahead and extrude that out a little bit more All right. And we can even go even deeper, I believe. Go nice and deep. All right. 
and if we wanted to scale that we could do that too we could uh, scale it out and change the shape of it touch however you wanted to do that okay so that looks good now what we need to do is take and lower that path that we've extruded down into this cube so we'll take and drag it down in all right you see it sinking into there and I like to leave it just enough so that it's just barely sitting above the surface of the area that we're going to call the ground so you can see that it's just barely above that okay let's check make sure it's not sticking out the bottom okay it looks pretty close but we'll call that we'll call that good okay so now we're almost there now we need to create a bool all right so we're going to select and create a bool all right and at this point what the trick with bools are the piece that you want to keep right the piece the ground we want to keep the ground and not keep the hole the trick with bulls is is the one you want to keep needs to be on top in the bull hierarchy so what do we want to keep we want to keep the cube so let's put that in the bull first all right and we want to make a hole with our extrude nerves and uh, all that so drag the extrude nerves just below below the cube and you'll see over here now that we've created a nice hole Okay, there's a hole down in there. I think maybe well, we didn't go too deep. What we are is we're beneath the plane here. So let's bring this whole piece up. All right. So there we are. We're looking good. Now, this isn't optimized geometry by any uh, mean of the words. But what we can do is, while we've got that selected, tell it to create a single object and hide the new edges. And it tidies that up. Now, it doesn't optimize it uh, you can run into problems uh, down the road, but for a single hole like this, you should be just fine. So, now we've got that hole there. Let's get up a little bit closer, take a look into it. And if we wanted to, we could even take and uh, add a light. All right, bring this up, light the same touch. Maybe you want to have one down in the hole. So we've got a, a dark area. Uh, hole that's lit up maybe you've got some fire or some lava coming out of it and we'll take another one bring it up top just to get a better idea of things so you can see that uh, it's a pretty good hole lights and shadows and all are, are there and uh, renders out nicely so just remember in your hierarchy when you're creating these the piece you want to keep should be up top in your bool we want to keep the cube therefore when it's in the bool it's above everything else um, so I hope that helps. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Um, and I hope this helped you out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.